I hope you're good, well, healthy, happy, that's like turning into a thing. Um, yeah, so I'm ill, hence the jumper and the hot water bottle. I actually feel like I haven't sat down and spoken to you guys properly in so long, so, so, so long. I actually want to sit down and talk to you. This is going to be like a real kind of chit chat. Um, get on ready with me. We're going to talk about like kind of skincare and things like that. And I've got a little brand to chat about. Um, but yeah, I really want to talk to you about something because I'm... I've been feeling so ill for the past like week, um, but it's kind of been like developing and I want to talk to you guys about it because I'm, I'm so open and I tell you guys everything so I really want to talk to you about it and um, in case anyone watching is like experiencing the same thing, I have no idea. Basically you guys know that I am, uh, what's the word, what is the word? Like oh, going into like veganism and wanting to do the vegan um, diet and um, just because you know a big animal love over here, love the world, the environment, <laughs> and I feel like it's the least I can do. So I really want to like kind of introduce, that's the word, introduce the vegan diet um, into my life. And yeah, and so that's what I've been like doing. And I've been like testing different milks and things. And a few months ago, right, I made the complete change of using um, oat milk instead of dairy milk. And um, because I tried like cocoa dairy before, which is really good in cereal, but I found oat milk was like creamier and I felt like it had more flavour and it was just like, yeah, it was just so good. I really liked it in tea and I felt like it was actually a milk that I could drink in tea and it obviously replaced the dairy milk. Yeah, so I made that change and you know, I started putting in everything and um, I've just realised and I never really kind of added up, it could be, I could be completely wrong, right? But I'm just keeping you updated um, with my thought process. Basically, I think I'm allergic to oat guys and that's like the worst because obviously oats is kind of like a big substitute in the vegan diet for other things um like pancakes and obviously the milk and they're bringing out oat ice cream and I can't enjoy um so yeah the last few months um I've been getting really bad ab abdominal pain like a lot of bloating like a lot of wind a lot of pain and I've been going to the toilet a lot more if you know what I mean and I just thought it was kind of like to do with my period maybe because you know the periods can kind of affect um like the bowel movement and things like that well for me anyway it does um, and I've always been told I had um, irritable bowel syndrome and so I just kind of thought it was a norm kind of yeah anyway this past week that's kind of brought it up and mum and I have been like you know investigating into it um, and yeah we are kind of pinpointing it as like oats um, because this past week I'm not even kidding not to give too much information away but I've literally lived in the bathroom like I've I've been so ill and then I got my period yesterday and so hence the hot water bottle and um, yeah I just feel I literally feel so weak today guys like I've, I've taken like the last few days off work um, and that's why I didn't like this was meant to go up on Monday and I think it's going to be going I mean I'm filming this Wednesday so it'll be an absolute miracle it goes up today um, but yeah you guys know that I have a fear of vomit luckily I'm not vomiting but yeah I've just been literally getting all the symptoms under the sun of um, an allergic reaction of kind of like food allergy but I actually looked up oat allergy um, I wasn't sure if it was a thing it's actually incredibly rare um, and all of the symptoms literally matched me First of all, the low blood pressure, my circulation is the worst, and as you can imagine, being in my period currently, I literally feel like shit. <laughs> so cold, I literally, like, without my makeup on, I don't know if you'll see, like, when I take my makeup off and we kind of play around with skincare, um, my lips are literally, like, white. My mum is like, what cream have you got on your lips? And I'm like, I haven't got any cream on my lips. And she's like, oh my god, they're white. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I've been feeling really weak lately. I've been saying to my mum, like, oh my gosh, I feel like I've run a marathon. And, and it's like at 11 o'clock in the morning. And I, I, I'm usually such an early bird. And I wake up and I feel, you know, buzzing. Um, yeah, the last few months I've been feeling like this. Itchiness, so you can get like rashes. You guys know I get eczema. And um, so it could be to do with that. Obviously, the abdominal pain, the diarrhea, and just all of these things literally reading out the list like oh my god this is me this is me like everything I'm experiencing this is me and it also says that with an oat allergy apparently if it's quite mild it can take a while to develop and that makes sense because obviously the last few months I've been having nothing but oat milk like on my cereal on my tea um I've been like experimenting with it with like baking and things I've never had anything like it seriously like I've been up all like I've been up all night just going to the toilet every 20 minutes um, and it's just I haven't been eating, I feel full as well, I don't know if that's a symptom, I'm feeling full all the time so I'm literally hardly eating anything, I just feel horrific, um, makeup is a wonderful thing, um, you'll see in a sec. <laughs> yeah, so um, what I wanted to chat to you guys about was I looked up the allergy right and it actually says because it's quite a rare allergy it can actually be misdiagnosed as IBS. 
And I'm just wondering, you, I, I feel like obviously irritable bowel syndrome is so like common, you know, so many people suffer from it and it's just like horrendous. Um, it just kind of ruins everyday lives really. Um, well, for me, that's what I thought I had. I mean, I could still have that. I could be, you know, I could be completely wrong the oat thing, but it just all adds up and makes sense. I'm keeping you updated on my, my journey, I guess, um, you could call it. So yeah, I'm gonna scrap all oat out my um, diet and I'm going back onto the cocoa dairy and I really want to try the pea milk. Apparently people start to rave about that instead of the oat milk, so I'm going to try the pea milk, and, um, but I'm not going to go back to dairy anyway. I was really interested, it was really interesting to read um, how it can be misdiagnosed um, as irritable bowel syndrome, so I've made a doctor's appointment and I'm going to really investigate into it further and um, you know, s s see what it is really. I mean it could be gluten, it could be dairy, but the thing is I have felt, I, I mean I've spoken to you guys before in my videos, um, that this year I've felt the healthiest I've felt ever and it's literally just in the last few months and that's when I made the big change for oats so it kind of adds up, do you know what I mean? I don't think it can be dairy or gluten and the other thing was that I used to love the taste of Otabix you know like Weetabix but it was Otabix, it came out years ago and I remember when I was eating that it affected me really badly like if you know what I mean, because it affected me like that, mum and I were like, oh my god, like maybe because I'm getting similar kind of reactions to now. Um, so yeah, it's very interesting. I just want to keep you updated with that because I've been feeling really shitty. <laughs> Yeah, so um, it's just very quite interesting. I, I'm I'm interested to know if any of um, you guys have any allergies, food allergies, or have any symptoms when you eat food, or if you're still coming, you know, if you're still trying to like find the you know the reason to, the reasoning to it. Um, you know, tell me your story like down below. If any of you have got no allergy, you know, I'm quite interested to um, um, hear your thoughts on this. But um, yeah, I just want to talk to you guys about it. Um, just you know, explaining why I've been a bit off recently and um, why I've been like late on my videos and um, yeah, just to keep it updated because um, I, I you know I'm, I'm such an open person. I'm sometimes a bit too open. It's kind of gross. Thank you for listening. Um, let's um just get on ready because my makeup is on. I had the vet. Um, not me personally. I took my rabbit Bob to the vet. Oh yeah, he's not very well, um, his ears sore. Yeah, I put my makeup on for that and I came back and I was like, oh my god, I cannot wait to take my makeup off. So yeah, I just thought it was a good video to do really. And I've got um, a little brand I want to talk about as well, so let's get into that. I just thought it would be nice to kind of like sit down, chit chat and talk about, you know, what skincare I'm using at the moment. I discovered a few new different products that I've been really testing out um, the last few months, weeks. And um, yeah, so I wanted to share that with you. And because um, I'm so weird with skincare, like I always feel like I've grown up watching YouTubers using all of these different kind of things. And I'm like, oh my god, I literally use moisturiser and makeup wipes, you know, I've never been into like skincare and I know it's so important but I've just never been into it and I've never been into it because I've never had a problem with my skin I've always feel, I've, I've always felt so so lucky about my skin I've never suffered like acne or anything, the only problems I get is eczema but not on my face and then around my period I get like boils, you know like those horrible like painful spots kind of things but around like my hairline and sometimes like the odd period I get one on my face but I've never really struggled with my skin and so I'm always then like worried to like experiment with um skincare in case anything does set me off and woo you know but before we play about with skincare I want to talk about a brand called Teamy Blends and they contacted me I would say like a month ago maybe um just like you know around that time so a wee while ago and yeah they seem to be a really lovely brand um I'm very kind of picky when I promote anything or talk about anything on my social media. As you guys probably are very much aware that if you well, if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I'm very much against you know, weight loss stuff but it's actually a laxative or something like that and um, yeah I've just been like I'm so, I'm so against like things like that and just selling young girls and boys um, shit basically and I wasn't sure if this brand was like another kind of version of that where it was like just unhealthy and I didn't want any part of it. I really looked into their brand and it started off with this girl who struggled with her stomach you know she was always getting bloating and she experimented with teas and yeah she kind of like built from that she basically sells teas um to help like bloating or to help get rid of toxins things like that and um yeah they sent me over i was interested you know because obviously with my stomach troubles this was before i kind of like 
realise maybe it's the oats. So at this time I believed I just had irritable bowel syndrome, which I still could have, but you know what I'm saying. And so I was telling them that I really struggled with constipation, I struggle with um, just kind of keeping my bowels, you know, going. Because of the IBS, you know, I struggle with bloating, and um, yeah, just like all these kind of tummy troubles. And they said that the colon blend was the best one for me, so yeah, just to kind of get rid of all toxins in colon, help with bloating, and um, yeah, just to help me feel fresh, you know? And so I um, tried, um, I got sent two of these and I tried one of them and um, I'm not even kidding guys, I tried it, I obviously wanted to try it when I was like having problems so I remember I, had, I, remember I hadn't gone in like four days or something and um, so I tried one and yeah it did the trick, it gave me a little bit of pain like um, when I woke up in the morning, I had a little bit of pain but I just thought you know maybe I'm just really sensitive, maybe I'm just sensitive because obviously there's a difference between a normal person who hasn't got IBS being constipated and then there's someone who has got irritable bowel syndrome who is constipated, you know what I mean? There's a difference and so um, yeah I just thought maybe it's just like my irritable bowel syndrome or you know the oat milk whatever um, and so yeah but if you're really really like struggling like if you haven't got that or anything like that and you just want to kind of keep your um, bowels going, you want to feel healthy, yeah, give this a go because all of the reviews were really good online and I'm actually keeping this one for when I need it um, but from what I you know have described to you that's been happening to me, I don't need it. They also sent me a face mask, um, which I've actually tried out and it's really nice, I love the texture of it. I'm actually gonna show you how I apply it today and um, when I'm taking my makeup off and where's the other thing. And then they also sent me a really cute and um, plush headband as well, which is adorable. But yeah, go and check out their website. They've got tons of followers on Instagram and um, tell me your thoughts about them, if you've tried them before. And um, I've actually got codes for you if you wanna use anything, if you wanna try out anything. Um, I haven't used any other teas, but that's the only one that I've tried out, which is the Colon Blend. And I would recommend that if you are feeling bummed up or just like really like bleh, you know, you just wanna get rid of all the toxins and feel fresh again. Um, so yeah, go and check them out. I've got all the codes down below and I think they've got an actual 30% off in November and I think you can get that off with Annika 30 and Annika 15 will get you 15% um, off the whole website so yeah go and have a look but all the information is down below so you can give them a shout. I've, I've loved like fruit teas anyway you know like healthy teas over kind of usual English breakfast teas. Um, I love green tea I love all of that so yeah and they also um, sell some skincare um, items as well and obviously I've got one of the um, masks here and of course everything is cruelty free. I think vegan as well actually. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but as you can see my background is Christmassy. Ugh, being so rude. As soon as Halloween's over, I'm like Christmas. Christmas, it's Christmas. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's get on ready because I just want to take my makeup off, put my hair up, refill this hot water bottle, and um, yes, yeah, so let's get going. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a bubble in my hair. You know what, bangs are so... <laughs> bangs are annoying, especially when you're in your periods. But like when you obviously need to put like your hair up and things. Oh my god, cute! So this is the plush um, hair band from... Um, yeah, um, uh, <laughs> I'm like... <"Ooh." laughs> from Teamy Blends. And so yeah, it's cute that they do like accessories like this. Can't have enough accessories. There you go. That'll that'll do. So yeah, when I actually, I actually haven't got a lot of makeup on today. I had to do the uh, natural kind of vibe. Don't know if it shows. Um, obviously, I don't want to put full face makeup on for just going to the fair, you know. But I needed something because I'm ill. I usually use coconut oil um, to um, uh, kind of ease off my makeup, but it ran out last week. So yeah, I love this. Um, like I said, I used to always use makeup wipes, but I feel like kind of doing, using kind of cotton buds, um, you just kind of get into, I just feel like you get in more and it cleans your face better. So I'm going in with the Pixie Skin Treats and it's the Hydrating Milky um, Makeup Remover. There we go. Yeah. It's got a really cool bit, so if you kind of like press down there, it then like kind of like goes down on there, obviously. And yeah, I just kind of like go in. I think I might keep my eyebrows on for your sake. Um, yeah, do you know what? I don't even need. I haven't really got a lot of um, eye makeup on to be honest. So I mean, even if you don't use like um, anything to kind of ease off the makeup, I mean, look at that. Like, how crazy is that? It literally this makeup remover is amazing. I hate taking my lips off. I literally overline my lips so much. I always actually worry in case people think I've had my lips done, but honey, I'm just really good at overlining them. <laughs> well, I think I'm okay too. Okay, so once all the makeup is off, well, 
on the eyebrows. It's so important to wash your face, like in between each step you do. Um, so I'm gonna go now put fresh water on my face and I will be right back. Okay, so the next thing is to cleanse your face and I love the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. It is so like, just, oh my god, it's pouring down with rain and it's so gloomy outside. Yeah, it's a conditioning face wash and I love the stuff, I love the texture of it. Um, yeah, you basically, you know, do what any kind of face wash does. You pop it in, you kind of like, really kind of get into, um, you kind of like, I don't know, like, you know, these little bits. And then you wash it off. It all goes a long way, so I do about like, kind of two pumps like this. And it smells uh, amazing. It's so like, florally and it just smells, oh my god, I can't even describe it. But I just love the texture of it going into my skin. It's really bad to kind of like, pull down obviously so yeah try and remember to do this and go up okay I'm now going to uh, wash this off okay so this is the stage where I go in with the clay mask and this has got matcha in it lemongrass and clay it's a green tea blend and it's from Timmy Blends the um, brand that I was talking about and um, but yeah I love this stuff it is so like the texture of it is so cool thicker the better so I say I love putting on a lot of face mask and um, but yeah like I said I don't pamper myself enough so let's do this together ooh I'm just going to take my rings off I should have done that before I love the smell of this as well but it feels so smooth like when it goes onto your skin I'm like oh I think this is my favourite mask that I've ever tried um, I just love how thick it is and um, I love the colour I don't know just everything about like a face mask I'm like this is it ooh I'm so messy when doing things like this so oh Hello baby hairs. It does dry quickly, so you do have to act fast. I feel like we have, um, you know, we've got to a stage where we're very comfortable with each other. <laughs> and I'm okay with you seeing me like this. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. We leave this on. I leave it on for about like 10, 15 minutes. It depends how much you really want it to kind of like go in. Um, and yeah, just get more effect. But um, I leave it on for about 10, 15 minutes. But yeah, you literally feel, it's kind of like, it goes on quite cooling and then it kind of like heats up. Like I, my, my face, I can feel it like heating up. Okay, so I will see you in 10 minutes. Sorry, but this is a mood, isn't it? Like jumper, face mask on, plush headband. This is a mood. Oh, this thing actually didn't mess up my hair at all. Sometimes you put like hairbands in and um, it can really kind of like mess up your hairline and things, but no, that's what you know. Okay, so after that face mask, I'm not even kidding. I mean, my eyebrows have kind of like come off now. I mean, I was trying to keep them on, but after that face mask, washing my face, they have like basically come off. Um, so do you know what? I've got a few moisturizers. I'm not kidding, depending on the mood, depending on how I feel that day. Um, so I'm gonna show you these two first. These are from Drunk Elephant. Um, they kindly sent me these a while ago and yeah, I'm just absolutely loving them. Everyone goes on about the polypeptide cream. To me, there really isn't that much in it, like between them. I really do just kind of like pick whatever one I feel like picking. Um, but I'm not going to put those on today. I'm actually going to show you um, a new item that I've been using recently. And it's from, I cannot describe, obviously everything in this video is cruelty free by the way. Um, Ollie Henriksen. Ollie Henriksen? Oli. Ollie Henriksen um, and it's the C Rush Brightening Gel Cream and I've been putting this under my eyes um, which is because I get quite sensitive under the eyes kind of like around my nose area here kind of like around the mouth basically everywhere and yeah I've been using this like under my eyes and I just love how gentle it is I cannot describe to you it just feels so gentle on my skin and a little goes a long way I'm not even kidding I'm um, literally just kind of like put my finger in. I've been popping it under my eyes and yeah, I just feel like it's brightening me up and I need all of that because I'm so ill. I'm sorry if I literally look awful. Um, I um, sometimes, I, you know, press it down the side of my nose as well. But you guys know after, you know, that story time, really gruesome story time at the beginning of this video, um, why if, you know, if I look a little bit rough. Yeah, I just kind of like gently blend that under my eyes and oh my goodness, it feels so good. Okay, now if you want a tan, now this time of year we're all kind of getting pale. I don't really want to like promote, you know, sunbeds um, and it's, you know, much um, safe, it's much safer and it, your skin will appreciate you a lot more if you fake tan. Um, you know, if you don't want to do anything at all, that is perfect, you know, it's up to you, but I like to fake tan. I love to have a tan. Um, as you can see, I've got a tan at the moment. I have been using this this past week. I'm not kidding, it's the best thing ever. The, the best thing absolutely ever cannot 
I'm beginning to tell you, it's amazing. This is the Loving Tan Deluxe Face Tan, and I think it's new, they sent it to me, and I um, started using it. They, they actually sent it to me, like, about two months ago, and I haven't used it yet, and I started using it last week, and I was like, oh my god. It's enriched with green tea and pomegranates, and I've got dark for medium to dark skin tones, um, just, you know, darker the better. Um, I don't want to play that with light medium. And what I love about this is that I feel like this is definitely perfect for winter time and the colder months, because this is actually got moisturization with it. I'm actually going to show you this because it's too good not to show you. Um, but um, the Bali Body one is really good as well, but that's more water and you, I have to mix up my moisturizer with this. So I find this one a lot more easier if you're traveling or anything. You don't need to mess around with other moisturizers, you can literally just take this. I would say my day to day moisturizer really is like in between like the, the um, drunk elephant ones is Dipper Base. I love Dipper Base. I didn't know they were cruelty free because they've been my go to for years and years and years and years and years. Um, and I contacted them and they said they don't some animals which is amazing and they are cruelty free and I just absolutely love their daily moisturising cream and they also have an um, itch reliefing cream which is perfect for my eczema as well. The other thing, I've been loving this as well for my body because um, it's so important to moisturise this time of year. Um, it's from the body shop, it's the Almond Milk Body Yogurt and I actually posted this on my um, Instagram and you guys were like oh my god I love it too um, and yeah it's for sensitive skin as well, it's 100% vegan, sorry I feel like I'm speaking really quick. <sighs> Divine. So yeah, so yeah, you really don't need a lot. So as you can see, it really is like a, do you know what, it looks like chocolate spreads. There you go. Um, and yeah, I popped some on my cheek area, on my forehead. I feel like it dives my eyebrows as well, um, which is good. Because I'm not kidding, like, I have no eyebrows on, like, I'm not kidding, I have, no, I have no eyebrows on and actually darker than usual, so, um, this stuff does, um, dye your brows, which is amazing. <laughs> I take it down my neck area. Oh, it smells so good! I mean, oh, but I mean, I love Loving Tan anyway, you know, they're alcohol free, they're cruelty free, I think they're vegan as well, and, um, but I just absolutely love Loving Tan, I've raved about their tan for, like, so, so long. Okay, I just had to wash my hands because I didn't want any, you know, brown fingers. Anyway, we are done! I really hope it was, like, helpful for you, like, if you've got similar kind of skin type to me, um, you know, I've got dry skin, and, um, yeah, I've never really struggled with, like, acne or anything before, that's why I'm so picky with what I put on my skin as well, because I've spent so long experimenting with, like, cruelty-free vegan products, and just to see what's best for my skin, doesn't flare me up or anything, doesn't break me out, or anything like that, doesn't make me even more dry on my face, so, yeah, these really work for me, so, if you're the same as me, I really hope they work for you as well, and, um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and please, Please let me know um, in regards to the beginning of the video if you struggle, yeah, with like oats or if you have an oat allergy or if you have a food allergy, let me know, irritable bowel syndrome, let me know like your story down below in the description box. I really appreciate it and um, if you feel a little bit, you know, embarrassed or uneasy, oh, guys, my camera just died. Perfect timing. So yeah, where was I? Um, yeah, please let me know. You know, you can DM me on Instagram. You can be as open as you like. And nothing faces me. Um, so yeah, just let me know. You know, if you're going through anything similar, and um, yeah, we can like chit chat about it. So I am I am Magic on Instagram. If you don't follow me, please go and give me a follow. I'm on there every day. Like when I had that green face jumper on that headband on, it was like enough, it was a different level, you know, we feel like we've reached the next stage in our relationship. <laughs> I've got such a fun video for the next Friday video, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it up this Friday, if nothing is up this Friday, um, I will definitely be posting next Friday, um, so yes, please um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, join the Annie fam, and the notification button as well so you don't miss that. Oh god, I swear to god, I really want to know what's making me feel like this because I literally just feel like my stomach is in knots. Oh, it's so sore. Ah! Pray for me, babies. Pray for me. I need your prayers. I need that hot water bottle pronto. So I'm going to say bye. I love you all so, so, so much. And I'll catch you in my next video. And that will either be Monday or next Friday. So I'm so sorry that I'm off. I'm just feeling so, so rough, guys. So I really hope you can um, understand um, why I'm just taking a little bit of time off. And um, hopefully I will be back next next week feeling bright, fresh, amazing, back to normal, you know, bouncing about, doing fashion videos, what I love to do, so yeah, I'll catch you in my next video, love you, bye!